everybody doing? Thanks for joining. Welcome back. So today's another video where I'm going to do a little mini reviews, share a few products with you guys, and it's sort of like a little bit of a get ready with me. So if you guys are interested, keep on watching. So I thought I would come on here today and share with you guys a few items that I had purchased a while back ago or just recently and some of them are going to be first time trying out some I have already used one is a primer and I'm not sure if I actually shared this I might have and then it's like one of the things where I totally forgot I did share with you guys maybe in a favorites or something uh, maybe I did I think I did show you in a haul I'm not sure but it's the hard candy uh, sheer envy hydro prime primer lotion. It's a 12, 12 hour moisture. It's three in one. It's supposed to moisturize, prime, and perfect. And this one, some have felt maybe it's compared to the hangover from Too Faced. And I love that primer. It is a really nice primer. Uh, but if it is similar to it, and I like it just as much, you know, this would be a little more safe friendly. But this does not say pore minimizing, and I do have a problem sometimes it's right in through here, like a lot of us do, not everybody, but a good many, you know, like some pores that need to be a little bit hidden. So <laughs> put this primer on. Now, hmm, wow, okay. This is a gel looking of a primer, more of a gel substance compared to Too Faced, it looks more like a moisturizer, like a cream, cream. This looks more gel. Um, there's a little bit of a scent to it. I'm not sure, maybe a little chemical scent, but we're going to see. I'm going to put too much on, I'm afraid. I'm a little nervous of that. I should probably, we'll put some down around here. When putting it on, I'm going to tell you guys, this is my first impression of it when I'm putting it on. It feels kind of nice. It's tacky, but that's what you want a primer to do is feel tacky, actually. From learning from some of the other people on here, tackiness is a good thing, really. But the first feeling when I first was putting it on, uh, this might sound odd to you guys. It's like almost like a mixture like you're putting, um, I don't want to say Vaseline. I don't want to say that because I know people would be like, say, what? Uh, no, I don't want to say Vaseline, but it is a very different texture. It has a slightness of that kind of feeling a little bit when I first was putting it on. Now, it could be because I put a little too much oil. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to do my eyes. And there was two palettes that I have that I think one I didn't really show in a haul video. It is the Sassy Siennas from the Dose of Colors. Uh, I wanted to try some of their eyeshadows. I have a berry one, which is really pretty, but a lot of times the these orange shades like this are ones that really work good for my eyes because I have like greenish blue hazel eyes. I don't know. And there is a brush in that. And then also I'm going to use in with it the Not A Basic Peach, which is this palette here from Wet n Wild. It's really pretty. The colors are really gorgeous. Uh, interesting enough that they don't have the, you know, eyeshadow brushes in them. Now, the one thing about this palette is there is not really a shade in there that I could put all over on my eyelid. I like to just use a basic off-white cream color. And in this one here, there is. I might have to use the one that says transition shade. Um, here's the brush that comes in the um, Dose of Colors. And it's not bad. It has one end where you you can use to pack on your eyelid. And then there's this one here on the end that you can use as a, like, sort of like a pencil liner. Like if you want to use one of the eyeshadows as, as an eyeliner or, you know, uh, lower lash line. So I dipped into the transition shade in the Wet n Wild. And... They said that they, I guess, reformulated their shadows, which their shadows were already really good. Now, the Dose of Colors, I love the palette. It is really pretty. I have used it once. They do have the names on the back of the palette. So if you need to know the names, they are on the back called um, Stay Sassy. 
and I'm going to put that a little bit above the crease area. These are very pigmented. I mean, as you see, very, very pigmented. And I'm going to want to leave. I'm trying to practice because sometimes I have a habit that my colors do not show well for my crease. And I'm thinking, yeah, because I think my eyes are getting that hooded, wonderful hooded thing going on. Sharon, this reminds me of you of a palette. You know how you always say, uh, stay sassy, classy, and confident. You need this palette because it has a little sass to it. Seriously. If you don't know who Sharon K. Bart is, I'm going to put a link down below to her channel. you got to watch her. She's so great with knowledge and uh, giving us output and input of uh, skincare. Just love it. Oh, okay, I see. They give you two transition shades. So I'm going to use this one in the Wet n Wild palette. I'm going to work it just a little bit and darken it up a little bit right here in, in the crease a little bit more. Like work it a little bit more in the crease. We'll see how that goes. Well, that looks not bad. Just like deepening it up a little bit more there. I am going to use, I think this is the shade called Oh So Sassy. I'm going to work that real tight in the end here. As you can see, the pigmentation is amazing. On both of them, the Wet n Wild is like what four bucks five bucks for them palettes i only got that one right now so they do have um in this line they do have a mauve and a neutral color so if these are too powerful um you might want to try the neutral ones but i think the neutral would go great with this like contrast together these are all matte eyeshadows in the dose of color too by the way i'm not sure how well yun's yun's you can hear my Pittsburgh, Pittsburghese accent, but I'm not sure how Yuns are seeing that. I might have to use this brush and blend in a little bit to get rid of any of them hard lines there, like the heart, you know, like around the edges and stuff. Time for that light shade right there. I'm going to put it in the center to open up and pop a little bit. We'll see how that works. I do see some fallout, definitely, because I'm looking now and I'm seeing some fallout. Oh, I think it's the Wet n Wild. I don't, yeah, well, it is the wet one because I can see sparkles. Uh, my brown, but my brow, yeah, my brow bone area. I'm just going to use a little bit more of that lighter transition shade right here. And I, I, I use matte mostly there if I do a matte shade. But so once in a while, I'll use shimmer there. All right, so the next item I'm going to use is the Lasting Finish 25 Hour breathable concealer. It's a lightweight medium con coverage and mine's in 100 fair and they look like this if you do see them in your store. I got mine at Walmart. Uh, they do have a ball tip. Almost reminds you of the Maybelline Age Rewind and it you know come out through the hole. I think you just squeeze it. Uh, some people I know don't always like those kind of you know, uh, ball tips like that because it's, you know, unsanitary. If you are, you could obviously squeeze it out and get it on your fingers or put it on a brush or something to that, you know, or your sponge, whatever. So I'm going to squeeze some out. We're going to see how well this works. And I'm going to dot it on. I don't know if I'd actually use this to, you know, rub under there. I think for me, I'm just going to blotch it on. That normally is what I would do with the concealer from Maybelline. Conceal in some areas that I normally would conceal. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use my fingers. Now honestly, Rimmel's another one that I have liked their concealers in the past. I had their Wake Up one, loved that. Uh, the Wake Up 
concealer. I had the, uh, the other one, the lasting one. It was, it had a little brush tip end on it. I liked that one really well. That's really nice. Coverage under the eyes. You can see. <laughs> Heck, I could even take it the whole way down and use it if I wanted to, huh? Might have used a little too much. But that's nice. Not bad. What do you guys think? It covered under the eyes pretty good. Do you guys think so? So the next thing I did share, I don't know if my haul video is going to be up first or this is going to be. I think my haul video will be up first. This is the uh, foundation. I did get the Lasting Finish 25 hour um, breathable foundation. This does have a doe foot applicator. I see Trish sharing it. What's oh, a awkward looking thing. That's a, that's a very unusual, it's a really big fat doe foot applicator for foundation. It's bigger than the other. It's more rounded than the other ones that I've had. And I think it might even have like a, like how the lip products are for the doe foot applicator, uh, like a hole, like a well. I did get the shade I got in 100 Ivory. Usually those shades work best for me. And I know Trish loves this foundation. And usually there's a few on here that um, I feel I'm compatible with when it comes to foundations. They're really pretty spot on for me, like the color, the formula, the way the formula is. And Trish is one of them people that, you know, steers me no wrong. On, and if you don't know who Trisha Oliver is, I will also put a link to her channel. I did collab with her not long ago. We did our favorites for January. Wow. Now, I mean, obviously you still see uh, some of my imperfections popping through a little bit, but I see what Trish means. It really looks nice. Like I liked the lasting finish Rimmel, the one with the red cap. That was already a favorite of mine in drugstore. But um, yeah, wow. I think this might have a beat. I wouldn't say it's really full, full coverage. You could probably build it up if you wanted to. Okay, so here we have this side without and this side with. Oh, my stars. Not sure if I'm not blending right there. That looks gorgeous from what I'm seeing in my lighting here. This is my finished look. So first of all, the primer. I'm gonna tell you guys about the primer. I think it's pretty good so far. I'm nice on my skin. I don't find it, um, feeling tacky anymore or I'm not finding any issues with it right now. I think I've used this twice. This is my second time using this, maybe three times. And honestly, I really like it. I probably would repurchase it. It's a little bit different than the uh, Too Faced primer. And I do really like that one. That's actually a favorite primer of mine for very hydrating skin. But honestly, I think you know, with being on a budget at times, I would probably just prefer getting this one and not even getting that. I, I don't know. I mean, that's a tough call. They're, I wouldn't compare them to being the same. Definitely for texture wise, they're not the same. So I wouldn't say it's a dupe or they're the same on that reference. Uh, wearability, uh, I will keep you guys updated with that one. Okay, the eyeshadows. I'm telling you what, these eyeshadows are great, amazing, both of them. The Dose of Colors, the Sassy Siennas, I will probably get uh, another one of these eyeshadow palettes possibly down the road. Yeah, this palette is amazing. I think it's 32 Is it like $32, 30-some dollars? I would say try some dose of color eyeshadow palettes like these ones here. Um, they're not really that expensive and for the quality that they are that you get, 
Um, there is, like I said, there, I think all four palettes are matte shades in them. I don't think there's any shimmer. So especially for you matte lovers out there, I would really look into them. The other two are a little more softer with the warm tones and then the mauves. They're more softer of a, of a color. And then the berries and the oranges are more vivid and brighter. The wet and wild palettes, holy crap. Uh, it really makes me remember of why I really loved the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes. And I have not used Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes in a long time. I think they did step up their game. Definitely. I really do. I, I do feel the quality is a little more up a notch than what it was. So there is kick up a good bit. But, you know, with, with the dose of colors, there's some kick up. There is a good bit more in here. There was fallout, but that's not a deal breaker for the price, like $4, like I said, for a palette. Okay, and then the concealer, Rimmel's Lasting Finish 12 hour or 24 hour breathable concealer. It's great. I love this concealer. It is really good. It's, oh my God, I, it's really good. I love this concealer. Mm, it might take over my fit me that I really love because the fit me one is very hydrating for under my eyes and I love a lot of Maybelline concealers but Rimmel gives Maybelline a run for its money when it comes to concealers because so far every concealer I've tried from Rimmel I feel the same with Maybelline so I feel like those are my two favorite drugstore concealers so far this is a really nice concealer guys and for maturing, I, I didn't even do the whole tip thing that I showed you with the putting moisture under my eyes. I did pat with the powder with my fingers when I set my eyes, but that was, that was it. This foundation, I feel like this is going to be my favorite. I, maybe I shouldn't say that yet. I think I'll just say, I think this is going to be my favorite drugstore foundation. I really do. Because the Rimmel one, the other one, was in one of my favorites. I love the Fit Me and all, but you know what? When I think in in makeup and stuff, like I I love trying I love trying foundations. I love trying all kinds of foundations, concealers, obviously. But if I were to knock all my foundations out and just pick a couple, this would be probably in top five all high end, low end, the whole thing. Obviously my It CC will be with this, but I'm telling you guys, this does look gorgeous. Trisha's right. It looks like, it just looks like one with your skin. It is insane. I mean, it is gor it's gorgeous. I, I, I yeah, there's no, I, I feel like I'm stuttering because there's just no words. I'm shocked. I'm that shocked. All right, beauty. So that was all of my products that I had gone through that I wanted to share with you guys. And I will update as I go. Just look for when I have my favorite videos, or sometimes I might just share a few products that I'm really liking kind of a thing. Just look out for those videos and I will update in what I'm thinking of the product and would I repurchase it? I like to do that sometimes and share with you guys. Like So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate that. If you didn't find this video helpful and enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up as well as share me around. That will help me get out there and get noticed more out in the YouTube world. And if you're not subscribed to my channel and you just came over and, and started watching my video, I would love to have you. Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below as well as the bell. Please make sure you hit both the bell and the subscribe button. The bell is very important because the bell is what will notify you of e an email of when my videos are uploaded and ready to watch. So you will be notified by email. As always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. I love you guys. Bye.